Hey stars, so um, I just thought I'd film a little vlog, just walking to a doctor's appointment. Um, I'm going to get more birth control and I am also going to talk about getting a blue badge. Um, I don't know, I think most of you guys probably know like a blue badge for parking because um, as you guys know, um, I'm fine with the walking, the walking is not a problem apart from when I'm flaring really bad and I get burning in my legs but usually walking is fine but it's always been worse with the weakness in my arms so um, like now it's a bit better but I still struggle a bit like you know when you have to get the tickets out of the machine like reach through your window and I used to get really bad anxiety about it like I wouldn't want to go anywhere by myself like even if you just want to go like McDonald's drive through or something like that I need the passenger with me to like take the food just because um I just I just couldn't I like, couldn't lift it so um yeah the, the weakness in my arms is really bad so yeah I'm gonna see if I can Okay, for that like it's improved a lot so I can't tell if I can be seen or not it's a pretty great day but um yeah hey stars so um I tried to vlog outside but um the lighting was weird because it's kind of overcast today um i hope this isn't too grainy i'm seeing noise at the moment but i hope it's not too bad as promised bare-faced i haven't even got my wig on so we got cap this is literally how i went to the doctors so um i went to the doctors today to get update update i renew my birth control prescription and then to inquire oh then to inquire about a blue badge because um like basically i str obviously you know i've got the weakness in my arms so i struggle to like carry bags and whatever so whenever i go shopping i need to like take my mom or my boyfriend with me or if i go by myself i have to make sure it's like supermarkets that let you um take the trolley take the trolley out of the like out of the supermarket into the car park so i can put it like right next to the boot and then just put the bags in the boot and then call someone when I get home. So, yeah, and, like, there's loads of stuff I can't do. Like, you know, like, before I was saying about how I can't do my hair. Uh, that's better now. I, I can still do it. it. Like, it's still a bit of a struggle, but I can, I can at least do it now. Mostly, if I need it done, like, proper neatly, then I still have to ask for help. But I can at least do it to a fashion. Um, Like, I can't do bed linen. Like, I think I tweeted the other day that... I, did the bed linen and when I tell you my arms was burning I felt nauseous I got like basically out of spoons so yeah I wouldn't be doing that again I can't empty the bin because I literally can't do the lift lifting up thing like I can just about do it with empty hands far less a weight um like and this is considering this is an improvement since I've started my medication so before my medication I was even worse so um i said told my doctor my doctor said i need to go to the council office to do it and then um so then i was looking online it says you can apply for it online so i was like really confused so i thought you know what let me just call the council and find out like what exactly do i need to do to apply for this blue badge so they were quite helpful she's kind of short with me but she was helpful she asked me how old am i i told her 25 and then she said, okay, do you claim whatever benefit? I think it's PIP, personal independence payment. I was like, no. And she goes, okay, well, you need to be, um, she asked me what's wrong. And I told her I've got basically um, well, immune disease. My immune system is attacking my joints and muscles. So I get weakness and pain. And then she said, okay, do you, come, do you claim PIP? And then I said, no. And then she's like, okay, well, you need to be claiming higher rate pip in order to be eligible for the blue badge so i was like okay she's like do you want me to give you the number to claim i was like no nah. because i was like i want to look this up because most benefits are mean tested and obviously i work full time so i was thinking am i even going to be entitled to this pip thing so i looked it up it's not means tested it's just like like 
what you're capable of doing. So I called up, they asked me questions. I had to like, because I've kept like all the correspondence from my doctor, like since it all started. I think I probably even got my referral letter from my GP. So, um, pulled out one of those letters. So it had my consultant's information on there, my GP's information. The only thing I had to dig around for a bit was my national insurance number, which I got from one of my, um, letters from the tax office so national insurance number is like a social security number um so then i did that answered all the questions on the phone then they said they're gonna set some either someone will call me or um and or and i'll get the form within two weeks um the whole process should only take like three weeks like they decide pretty quick so um basically i have to claim that benefit in order to get a blue badge which i think is a bit silly because obviously i work full time so um the the money is not a necessity for me because i'm like i'm not obviously when i'm off sick and stuff like that because i used up all my company sick pay so obviously if i was to go off sick again then yeah maybe the money would benefit me then but right now whilst I'm working like it's I don't really need the it for the finances it's more that I want the blue badge because like it's limiting my independence like I can't just go shopping and stuff like that so um that's the main thing so if I have to claim the benefit in order to get the blue badge I'll do that but I think it's a bit it's a bit weird because like obviously governments always want to save money and they could save money like not paying benefits to people that don't really need the money but if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do because I really think I do need the blue badge. Like the walking, like most of the time, like if I'm not flaring, like I can walk, I can walk just fine. But my arms, my arms have always been the issue. Hence why I had the the muscle biopsy from my shoulder. My shoulder is the weakest thing. I finally got my um, physio referral after a year. And the exercises have helped a lot. Like I can actually... <laughs> I use my arms a bit now like I can brush my teeth without holding my arm up with my elbow um like you know no if I'm flaring actually I I still do need to do that because I think I found myself doing that yesterday but that was because I changed the bed linen so my arms are weak but um yeah that's my life like loads of little things like that like I was even just saying to my friend that I have to think about if I'm by myself, what supermarket I go to because there's like an Iceland near me that they've got like the, the pole on the trolley or shopping cart for my American viewers. So you can't actually take take it outside. Like you can only take it to the door of the shop. So I can't go to that supermarket because if I've got like more than one or two bags, I'm not going to be able to carry them to the car by myself. So I have to go to, there's another one. It's a little bit further away that I would have to drive to where I can take the trolley all the way to the car and stuff like that. Just I always have to be mindful. Like I can't just think, oh, I just want, oh, we need some things. Let me just go to the supermarket. Like if it's light stuff like salad and stuff like that, then yeah, it's fine. But as soon as I want to get juice or um multi pack of water or anything like that, then I need help because it's too heavy. Like so um stuff like that. So yeah, that's what I've been doing today. So I went to the doctor's surgery. Oh, I also, on a more positive note, I collected um our travel money for our trip, which is next weekend. So I collected our travel money. That was nice and not depressing. So yeah, I've applied for this PIP thing. I'll keep you guys updated how it goes. Um, Hopefully, I... I I just want the higher rate so that I'm eligible for the the blue badge because it will make my life a lot easier and that's um that's the purpose or purpose of them I guess. So um yeah, I did try to vlog outside but the lighting was way off. Um if you guys have any experience with um the blue the blue badge thing or pip let me know because this is alien to me. I just always thought that if you're working, you're not eligible for anything. So, um, yeah, let me know your experiences with um, PIP and blue badges and such things. I'll let you know how, guys, how I... Ah, try again. I'll let you guys know how I get on. 
I'm not sure if I told you in my last update that I'm booked in to get two more wisdom teeth removed. So I'll be left with one, I think. So yeah, I'll be doing that. I'll be vlogging that too. So you know, as always, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Remember, we're still trying to get to 150 subs. Hundred. What's wrong with my mouth today? I need to go back to bed. I'm still. We're still trying to get to 150 subscribers, and I'll see you, lovely stars, in my next video. Bye.